Who the hell are you? <laughs> what are you doing in my cafe? Uh, I'm here on business, after all. Do you like coffee? Would you like some? That would be great, thank you. I can't fucking stand coffee. <laughs> I, I like coffee. Used to hate it, now I like it. Light and extra sweet, please. Never have sugar, though. He disappears through an open archway around the corner. A Siamese cat timidly peers at him as he goes, then at me with wide-eyed, worried look. <laughs> Aw, fuck Kelly. I give it an awkward smile and nod before I realise I'm treating the cat like a stranger in an elevator. <laughs> Landry reappears a moment later, carefully balancing a black and white saucer, which in turn balances on a stout white ceramic mug. The tiny creamer almost disappears in his large hands. <laughs> Random sound effect. He gingerly places them in front of me, careful not to spill anything from either. I put a little bit of milk and sugar in there for you, but I bought some more if you, if you don't like it. Oh no, it looks perfect. Thank you. I'm glad to hear it. I think we drink our coffee the same way then, because I made it the way I like it. You have excellent taste. I take a careful sip of the coffee as I watch Landry take his long strides into the back of the cafe. He really covers a lot of ground. It's not even moving that quickly. Could use a little more milk, though. <laughs> Guess I'm not good at being an adult yet. <laughs> nope. <laughs> it's us. I don't like that it still tastes like coffee. I do like coffee, but I definitely don't oh, feel like an adult. Not. I've never had a coffee I like. It, just the smell of not like yeah. coffee beans makes me feel ill. See, I used to, you see, where I live, there are so many coffee shops. And I used to walk past and hate the smell of it. And then I did this I did this thing where I'd like volunteering thing where I'd finish at 4 a.m. in the morning then I had a lecture at 9 the next day and my housemate was like, here, try coffee. <laughs> so I had a stomachache for two days because of that. Um, and my housemate was like, here, have a coffee. And ever since then, I've, I've actually quite liked it. I drink tea and I've got my energy drinks, but I can't stand coffee. <laughs> I pour what should be a little splash of extra milk, but half the cream is worth spills in. It almost overflows. I dive forward and gulp a mouthful from the side before I dare to lift the mug and drink like a civilised person. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> <laughs> this cat's looking at me like it's offended by what I just did. No. What? <laughs> like a cat knows anything about coffee. <laughs> Landry's gone. More than me. <laughs> Landry's gone long enough for me to nearly finish with the mug. Just long enough for me to wonder where everybody else is. The Siamese cat's still staring at me. I'm just gonna. Uh, no, I know what you're doing. I'm just ignoring you. <laughs> Literally, I'm just going to ignore it and focus on the game. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, Landry emerges from the back of the cafe, but he's not alone. This is Graves, the owner of the cafe. Graves, this is Avery. Oh, dear God. <laughs> Ooh. Interesting eyes. He looks like he should own a bookstore that insists it sells tomes, is not is books. Mon Monochromia or something? I'm trying to remember X-Men. <laughs> I don't know. It looks really cool, though. I think it's mon Monochromia or Microchromia or something. It's something along those lines. Again, it's, it's I, I remember it from, from X-Men. From um, where they went back in time when he's in, when Xavier's in college. Uh, one of the new ones. Is this Days of Future Past? No, it's before that one. Uh, first, uh, first class. Oh, I haven't seen that one. Okay, there's a bit of it in that where he he starts trying to chat about a uh, girl up in the uh, bar and she's got okay whatever it is. I'm sure it's monochromia or something. I suppose monochrome. That would make sense, yeah. wouldn't it? One color. He looks like he's. Uh, or maybe he's about to try and sell you a crystal that will balance your chakras. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe this is what the owners of cat cafes look like. I've never seen... Ah. I don't know where I'm at. His eyes. Oh, they're two different <laughs> colours. <laughs> I can't focus on both of them at the same time. I have that trouble. Which one am I supposed to look at? <laughs> My attention was swallowed by his icy blue eye. To be fair, I, that one is more trouble. Mm. Is he wearing a contact to complete his dark renaissance look? I would love to go to a renaissance fair. It would be interesting. Okay. I think it was his eye. Has he been talking this whole time and I've not been paying attention? Yes, it was this. Eh? <laughs> he had the eye of a vulture, a pale blue eye with film over it. Whenever it fell upon me, my blood ran cold, and so by degrees, very gradually, I made up my mind to take the life of the old man and thus rid myself of the eye forever. Uh, excuse me? I think he's having a fit. 
telltale heart you were looking at my eye. Kids, didn't you read that in high school? I didn't actually. I know it is, but I didn't read it in school. No, I did. Um, <laughs> well, yeah, but. Heter- heter- heterochromia. There we go. Yeah. Iridis, iridis heter- heterochromia. <laughs> you know, it's mouthful. The Latin does it's, make sense. To me. Yeah. Yeah. It's more common in cats than humans. I wonder why. He's got this look like he knows he just told a great joke, but there's no punchline anywhere I can see. What a weirdo! I'm not sure if I want to work for a guy like this. Then again, he hired someone as nice as Landry, so he's got at least some good taste hidden in there. Would I need to know that to get a job here? <laughs> You're so, so worried. <laughs> to be fair, that's what I'm... If I was actually in this game, I'd have the same face. I just gave you the answer, so I'll let that one slide. Follow me. We'll talk on the second floor. Before you finish this sentence, he's already up three ste- He's already three steps up the stairs to the balcony. I shake my head a little and follow him. After all, I really need a job. Cake! <laughs> <laughs> that does look nice actually we make our way up to the second floor balcony which except for us is only occupied by these amazing looking cakes in the display case I want them I wonder if I can get a slice on my way out Grace leans down over the balcony of the cafe and raises his voice to the people below or to the cats I guess since cats are the only thing I can see from here Hayes will you get some? Get us some coffee is that the chef? I haven't seen anybody here besides him and Landry. Landry. Oh, I already had a cup. Is that going to stop you from from another? You can't have enough coffee. You really can. <laughs> Especially <laughs> when Hayes is the one making it. Don't think I met Hayes. You may have. You might not know yet. Graves folds himself into the slender chair at the corner table. He pushes the opposite chair away with his foot, nudging it just enough to turn it towards me. Come on, sit down. Let's talk. You don't have to be so stiff. Interviews are boring. Make it interesting for both of us. No pressure, huh? Oh, sorry. Graves sits with this sort of grim pomp, like he's sitting on a skull throne and a raven's going to land on his shoulder at any time. Maybe it's more like he's about to roll a dive on the side. I was waiting for some sort of reference. Amazing. <laughs> I bet he's a nerd. Nerd! <laughs> I take the seat across from him. Just so you're aware, we aren't starting without coffee. Uh, okay. You can talk, of course. I meant the interview. Okay. Out of the corner of my eye, I notice a tiny slip of a blonde man standing at the balcony entrance. Ah! I jump a little. When did he get here? I didn't hear anyone come up the stairs at all. Is this guy a ghost? Graves looked like the type to hire a ghost. <laughs> he looks terrified by my God. shout. <laughs> I think I scared him more than he scared me. <laughs> Gingerly, he sets two mugs in front of Graves. Thank you, Hayes, but you should give the, give Avery the other mug. He sounds like he's reminding a child to say thank you. Uh, of course. Aww. Hayes glances up at me. Our eyes meet for a millisecond before he suddenly finds something very important to focus on downstairs. <laughs> he pushes the cup towards me without looking back up. Uh, thank you. Gray's ring clanks against the porcelain of the cup as he takes a drink. Perfect as always. I don't know what I'd do without your coffee. It's nothing special, really. He talks like it's the first time he's spoken today. Quiet and a little hoarse. Hayes. It's him, isn't it? Yeah. If that's all I right, I'll go back to the cat. That's fine. Hayes slips back down the stairs just as quietly as he arrived. That kid would make a great ninja. <laughs> I look down at the coffee and see. Kitty! Him. Oh, it's so cute! I look down at the coffee and see a sleepy cat face staring always, at I'm me from the floor. Always amazed. I know, it's like amazing. This. I get the drawing in it, but it's just when they get the, like, the ears and let like, pop out of it in the phone, yeah. which I. The only, the only reason I like coffee is because of the art they're doing something. I don't like doing it. Terrible. <laughs> um, I've only ever seen latte art on the internet before. Would Hayes really do this? I take a sip. It's not bad if you like coffee, I guess, but it could really use some sugar. There are packets on the table, but I can't bring myself to ruin the firm cat. Yeah, that would be me. I would do exactly <laughs> the same. Yeah. Now we can get this going. Let's interview. Okay. 
I don't want to start you off easy. What's your favourite breed of cat? Do I actually know how to know something cat? about cats to play this game? Oh. Really? Uh, my cat. <laughs> Do you know any other languages? How about ciphers? <laughs> the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> I speak the language of dance! <laughs> <laughs> Just because that's amazing. What marine animal would you say suit? Uh, would you say best represents you? What? Uh, that's, that's definitely not a marine animal. Okay, um, I know which one you pick. Yeah. Uh, oh. <laughs> I'll go for dolphin. Yeah. <laughs> what genre of music would you use to describe your work ethic? <laughs> Classically hard work. Uh, <laughs> children's sing along. Yeah, probably. I genuinely put on my musical playlist and dance yeah, around yeah, the office. Yeah, fine. Yep. On a scale from one to ten, rate me as an interviewer. Because now, I do, want do you want to be a suck up? Or <laughs> I'm going to be a suck up. <laughs> <For> ten. <laughs> yeah. Draculas or teenage wolves? Teenage wolves. Could be a odd one. Just kidding with that last one. Interesting. Good. I like interesting people. He leans forward, appraising me with this terrible smirk on his face. He's like the cat who ate the canary. I feel like my accent with him is changing every time I to speak his line. Probably. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Should be used to him doing different voices, right? He leans forward, appraising me with his... Oh, sorry, I've done that. Maybe, maybe... It's really confusing when they do it in bits. Yeah, I know. Maybe I don't want to be interesting by his standards, but it feels kind of flattering, nonetheless. Uh, thank you. You start tomorrow. What? <laughs> wow, great. Thank you. Don't run off yet. I have paperwork for you. And we've got achievement. Close that great list tab. <laughs> I like it. Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, Grace pushes away from the table, coffee cup in hand. He nabs my saucer, even though I'm not quite finished, and slinks down the stairs. He returns as if he never left, trading the empty coffee cups for a small stack of papers and, papers and pen. He places them in front of me. So, what will my job be? We'll see. Did <laughs> did he hire me with no position in mind? Is this how this guy usually works? I feel like I'm in a daze. Too much information and too much coffee. <laughs> to be fair, one would be too many. I take the papers and skim them, signing pretty much anywhere I see an X in a line. Don't do that. What's <laughs> Always read everything you sign. What's it all for, and why is there so much? Probably taxes and stuff, I don't know. <laughs> who cares I've got a job <laughs> I push the papers back towards Graves and he eagerly scoops them up off the table perfect we're at 11 be here at 8 we'll have yeah, you, we'll, 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 have, <laughs> we'll have you help with the morning oh, prep oh it's animals that's fair enough yeah. well you got the cakes and the coffees and things set up and the animals to feed yeah. and water and the yeah. tables and stuff so yeah three hours okay my displeasure must be pretty apparent because his mouth cracks into another smile. Yeah, I'm not a morning person. Uh, no. You can you can work a late shift after training. You won't have to deal with those cursed mornings for too long. Uh, okay, that that's fine. No go. I have a lot of work to do before tomorrow. You need to get you need to get to work fixing that sleep schedule of yours. I don't know why I'm so much trouble with that line. No, it hasn't got any long words in it. Okay, uh, okay. He seems lost in his own world now, pouring over the paperwork I just filled out and didn't read. I guess there's all sorts of tax stuff you have to deal with hiring people. Why would he do it so casually? Well, whatever. Not my problem. I head down the stairs. Landry's back. He looks uncomfortable, waiting at the foot of the balcony, but perks up when he sees me. So? I'll see you tomorrow, co-worker. Oh! <laughs> Congratulations! You can meet everybody else, else in the morning. I'll make sure they're all ready for a, meet for a meeting when you get in. How many people work here? Well, there's me, Graves, of course. You met Hayes, Finley, Mason, Reese. That's it. It shouldn't take too long to get to know them. Okay, great. I'll see you all tomorrow then. Great. See you. Well, who? I'm gonna live it up a little. I'm gonna paint this town red. I finally have a job. Dead night. I assume that's the studio that made it. <laughs> that's the what? Uh, the studio that made it, oh, I okay. guess. I was like, well, a date already. Has We've barely met before. <laughs> because of no music, I'll make a round of little dude. <laughs>
Oh wow. An animation. I assume there's some awesome music over this. Yeah. I, I I feel bad turning the music off now. <laughs> It's it's not worth. It. You can always add something that isn't. Yeah. I'll, 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 add, I'll add music afterwards. Here it is. <laughs> it works when you do it with Borderlands. So. Okay, so that's Finley. Landry. Yep. Uh, Reese. Cool. Mason, so I assume the chef. Yeah. Hayes. Aww. Coffee boy. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Graves, I like it. <laughs> And then that's the dating part, I guess. Kitty. Aww. I'm guessing coffee is going to be a major theme in this. Seeing as we're working in a co in a yeah. ca coffee calf, yes, I assume so. <laughs> coffee and cake is always a good combination. Ooh, tea and cake. <laughs> hmm? Afternoon tea. I do like my tea and scones. Yeah, me too. The animation looks really cute in this. Apart from Grace. It's really well drawn. Remind, it does remind me a little bit of Borderlands. The art style. Yeah. It's the sort of like... It's the obvious outline and the bright colours. Yeah. 